across the area right now. Temperatures have dropped back down into the mid and upper 30s everywhere. It is 39 degrees in Manitowoc. We've got 38 in Fond du Lac. And it's only 35 degrees in Watoma. In the valley, it is 36 and cloudy. We've got northwest winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Green Bay, the temperature is 38. We've got overcast conditions. The ceiling is lowering as a big storm gets ready to approach the area for later on tonight. Storm Shield radar shows quiet conditions across northeast Wisconsin right now. You can see that the clouds are lowering, but they're not producing any precipitation at this time. This is all Virga. It is snow that is falling from the clouds but drying up before it can reach the surface. That will begin to change, however, later on tonight uh, and then into tonight and then into tomorrow morning as well. We've got an area of low pressure now moving through eastern Oklahoma. It is going to be swinging north and east through southern Illinois into northern Indiana and northwestern Ohio. Now, this is not a track for fa uh, favorable for heavy snow here in northeast Wisconsin. Typically, we'd want that track to be farther north, probably somewhere between Milwaukee and Chicago. So it appears that the heaviest snow with this system is going to be tracking to our south and east. And you can see we've got winter weather advisories now lining up here from Kansas into northern Illinois. So far, no advisories have been issued for the NBC 26 viewing area, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had some advisories issued from g this general spot, the Fox Valley, south and east for later on tonight, with really the greatest chance for seeing accumulating snow across Fond du Lac, Calumet, Manitowoc, and Sheboygan County. So here's Skycast, cloudy skies giving way to some snow as we head towards midnight. We'll see some snow throughout the night into th uh, Halloween morning. That snow will then slowly taper off to flurries as we move into the afternoon and for ha uh, perhaps a few peaks of sunshine before the sun does set. As far as accumulations are concerned, this is the model that I'm kind of latching onto right now. It generally shows a dusting to an inch north and west of Green Bay and then probably about one to two or two to three inches here from just south and east of the Fox Valley towards the lake shore, and then more than likely probably about three or four inches here, maybe a localized five inches once you get south and east of Lake Winnebago. So we have the chance to have our snowiest Halloween in 124 years, the only Halloween on record that has seen accumulating snow.